Sleeping Dreams have been an inspiration for many things, including these two artist books, Delirium, an award-winning book by Philip Zimmerman, and The Skin Square, The Pupil Square, Dreams of Scientists by Kyoko Matsunaga. Philip Zimmerman is based in Tucson, Arizona. He's been making artist books and other media since the early 1970s. His personal work deals with political, cultural, and social issues. This book is titled Delirium. Zimmerman describes it as born from the COVID-19 pandemic and time spent in lockdown. From cover to cover, it is printed with enlarged images of the COVID-19 viral envelope as seen under a microscope and splashed all over our TVs and social media. Zimmerman brought to the pages of his reproduced micrographed images a paragraph from Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. Zimmerman uses a feverish dream of the protagonist as his narrative for delirium. The story reveals slowly, giving space to reflect on this prophetic dream conceived nearly 150 years ago. Here's a portion. He had dreamed that the whole world was doomed to fall victim to some terrible, as yet unknown and unseen, pestilence spreading to Europe from the depths of Asia. Everyone was to perish, except for certain, very few chosen ones. But never, never had people considered themselves so intelligent and unshakable in the truth as did these infected ones. Never had they thought their judgments, their scientific conclusions, their moral convictions and beliefs more unshakable. Everyone became anxious and no one understood anyone else. They did not know whom or how to judge. could not agree on what to regard as evil, what as good. It's a big, colorful book. The images are half-tone color separations, digitally manipulated and printed. The blown-up size and bright colors represent, for me, the overwhelming experience of the pandemic. Zimmerman describes the effect as hallucinogenic and furiously color-saturated the language of a feverish nightmare. In this next piece, I promise more peaceful dreams, but no less colorful. Kyoko Matsunaga is based in Kyoto, Japan. She has a BFA in printmaking and studied bookmaking in Tokyo and the US. This piece is titled, The Skin Square, The Pupil Square, Dreams of Scientists. This deluxe version includes a small sculpture made from twigs. Matsunaga told me this plant's trifoliate structure reminds her of both brain neurons and the World Wide Web, where various memories are stored. The sculpture is meant to represent these pixelated memories. Below the sculpture are seven cut and folded booklets. Each booklet is inspired by interviews she conducted with seven different kinds of scientists. These squares are also metaphors of our pixelated world. Matsunaga writes that she uses the techniques of waxing or oiling her papers to create some distance with reality. But for me, the touch and smell of the wax draws me right into the world of light and matter. Plus, the wax gives some weight to the ethereal nature of her images. Let's open some. This one is titled Koichiro Zama, Primatologist.
Taking photos and internet images, Matsunaga uses white paint to block out whatever part of the image she doesn't want to keep. She then works digitally on the images and prints from the computer. One side is the private dream world, and the other is the physical world, shared by all. This one is titled, Anonymous, Astrobiologist. I see these unfolded booklets as sheets or blankets, even as veils that separate one world of consciousness from the other. As I handle this work, I see a visual relationship between the sculpture and these booklets as they move through a three-dimensional transition as they are unfolded, flattened, and refolded. The whiteness and floating images conjure our world coming into being as well as disappearing. These two works serve as a reminder of how our dream world and the dreams of others can be a rich source of creative material.